It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers coming up next. Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD folks are excited here in Carolina. They have been since March 10th. That being the day that the Panthers traded up with the Bears for the right to select Alabama's Bryce Young first overall. And selected first overall, they did. And not only that, during the free agent period, the rest of the draft, they also tried to surround this young quarterback with extra talent, trying to get him activated early so he could be a starter from day one. And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one. But coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line, and he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time, and here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold, 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play, nerves come into play, and despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Car going to throw. And this one take it in by Alave. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. A huge play there on the screen pass. 41 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Camara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about a job he did there crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 22-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him, 
incomplete pass. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Alave motioning to the left. Here's Carr now going to fake the jet sweep and throw off play action. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. To throw his car. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Carr to throw. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Juwan Jansen. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. Bryce Young, the quarterback out of Alabama with a Heisman Trophy in his hip pocket, is the new face of Carolina football. 80 touchdowns, just 12 picks in his college career for the Crimson Tide. He may be a little small in terms of size, but potential, massive. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Now Young. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown. Game. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. First and 10, Young. hit as he threw it there and that one winds up incomplete i tell you what that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the nfl a lot of rookies are trying to force something there he thought better of it and that was the right decision 
Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. And this one too low. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they've got to face a big third down. Young on third down. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage and the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now a second and six. They'll pound it up the middle with Camaro. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for the first. Throwing now is Carr. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early. And that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive. And now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Throwing on first down is Carr. It gets this complete to Shaheed. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Saints are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You've just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll start with the option, and he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 25 yard line. Oh. 
They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Throwing, Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. It's Young off play action. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here comes third down and seven. Now here's Young. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Already up two touchdowns. How about that drive killer of a sack there to add to their good play? This offense coming away with no points now when some kind of score was desperately needed. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man downfield is Johnson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. You asked tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Coming left is Kamara. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play calling is working very well for them right now. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second down, Kamara. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Holding offense. Are you serious? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Card out of throw. They'll get this out to Kamara. 
And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third and four. To throw its car. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Out now is the field goal unit for New Orleans. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It'll be a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that'll make this 17-0 here in the opening quarter. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17 nothing our score as they kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now Sanders, and it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 17-0 our score after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. Here's a second and eight, as they've got it as we resume action. Second down, back to Sanders. Room here to run. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints' 29-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. And when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two-deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guys taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level, that offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Sanders. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. Sanders again. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there.
after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Car to throw on second down. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. It'll be a gain of five. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now a play fake, Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. Now the Panthers and Miles Sanders headed out for another drive. And he had a short touchdown run last series. Four carries, good yardage as well. Pretty good all around, really, Charles. It was, because think of the drive that created all of that, right? The ability to carry the football, the ability to see holes that were created for him, even able to pat the wide receivers on the back and say, thanks, guys, for the help, and finishes it off with that short touchdown run. I, I can't wait to see what they do in the next drive and the next series, because I want to see how the defense adjusts. Second and seven. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. To throw Young. And that's complete to Sanders. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now Carr. He completes it to Alave. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Jet sweep, here's Alave. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. See the athleticism there of Brian Burns stopping him behind the line. 
as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you come around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing up. Frank Reich not so sure about that last call. He's going to go ahead and throw out the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. From the gun, it's Carr. That is caught at the seven. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A well-executed 22-yard gain. zone trip so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal working from the gun it's Carr and it's caught a touchdown saving tackle there now it's third and goal fired that one in there able to make connection on a nice in route with those faster passes and they're going that fast any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection if you miss might be bigger and lead to an interception yeah and the deflection works both ways maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it and he pops it up in the air for the touchdown saints third touchdown pass now for Derek carr and the saints are able to extend their lead well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. 
think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points on? Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, Young loses it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. But good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Young. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. He'll take it at the 42. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Carr. A quick throw there is incomplete. Now a second and 10. On play action, it's Carr. He's across midfield, and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Here's Carr. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Jeremy Chin, so dangerous wherever he's at on the field. And that time he gets in there for the sack. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be taken at the 13. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Now the Panthers and Miles Sanders headed out for another drive. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Here's second and five now from the 22. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. Out of the gun, it's Young. Look at the big man rumble. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A big gain of 31 on third down. 
Not so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes, you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Here's Sanders. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now. Now Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a gain of five. Brings up another and we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Young now. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of four there that gives him a new set of downs. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. He's in the space past the 25 and down to the 16-yard line. 15 yards there for number 15. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the red zone now, Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Panthers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Throwing on first down is Carr. Alave over the middle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Oh, 
second down and a yard. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Complete to Alave on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Car going to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Throwing now is Carr. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. defense there on third down just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package nowhere to go with the football forces the incompletion here comes the Saints punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. For the Saints, this is why they signed him. They got a strong performance from their quarterback, Derek Carr. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Thank you. 
It's Young off play action. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll run it, Sanders, to the 36-yard line, stop there. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Young to throw it. Open man is Mingo, complete. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Young will set to throw. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Panthers are back within a score. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. Nah, nah, nah. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Card out of throw. Now this one taken in by Alave. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Try on the left side with Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Car to throw on second down. Alave holds it in. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 
Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Again, it's Kamara. Nifty footwork at the foot. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Well, that's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. A 10th carry for Kamara. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now the Saints third round pick back in April. It's Kendra Miller. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. To throw his car. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Jet sweep, car backs it forward. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. And they're going to get him. He sagged back around the 28. You know, a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. the field goal unit for New Orleans. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe, and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know, you're not gonna just come out in the second half and take over.
The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. And the Panthers coming out now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching with... And now off to the races, down the right side. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a second and five. Young working out of the gun. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit. He's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. On uh, first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get forward for about three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And they'll come up second and seven. Young. throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them and these guys have been taking advantage so far on first and ten it's Sanders dances by at the 20 and he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line it's a pickup of 12 second play in a row with a 12-yard gain a nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Going for it with Sanders. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. 
They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Touchdown, Panthers! Ian Thomas, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So that one a long 11-play drive, and the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Powering his way forward. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Carr's throw caught by Alave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Camaro. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Camara, 50 yards. And the Saints answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Carr will look to throw, and he will get into the end zone for the two points, and that helps. That gives him a seven point lead. He hits the big target for the two point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Throwing, young. That swung out wide to Sanders. 
And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. First and 10, Young. Target and incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 11 yards and a Panther first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Right back to Sanders on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and seven. To throw, Young. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now Young. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Demario Davis in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack, he got it. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he totally forgot that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last second, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to letting it slip away. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, Young. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. This offense so far on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and eight. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. On second down, Kamara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 110 yards rushing now for Kamara. It's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll drop to throw. It gets this complete to Shaheed. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. this afternoon it's Kamara again and he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10 and that'll take us to the two minute warning of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, 
We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Try to pound it in, Kamara. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They run it again with Kamara. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Back to throw, Carr. And this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out, just a few snaps remaining, they can't relax just yet. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Chris Alave who finished things off with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Blackshear now on the return. And he returns this to the 22. So now Young and the Panthers down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Young to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now Young. Pass complete. Hurst. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and 10 here. Here's Young. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Mingo, 61 yards. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. A little less 
less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. A big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. And they'll indeed take a knee. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. It's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. 